Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a huge box from American Girl and you can kind of see my girls behind there. They are kind of hiding. Um, this box is huge and this is something that I have been wanting from American Girl for so long and I finally bought it last week, I think, a week, maybe two weeks ago. Um, because American Girl has been having that sale where you save $25 on orders, $145 or more, and I had a $30 reward, so I saved $55 on this. So I decided to get it because this is something I've been wanting for so long. Let's just open it up. I'm so excited to see this. This is the kitchen, the purple kitchen. I don't think it comes in like a box box, which is why I'm just saying it. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. Okay, I'm just gonna take everything out. Okay. This is so heavy. My girls are in their pajamas. <laughs> um, they're having a little slumber party. I think I'm gonna have to move them so we can set this up. You have no idea how excited I am about this. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I have this right now. batteries and it'll actually like work. Sorry, I'm dying over how cute this is right now. So yeah, there's a spot for batteries in the back. I'm gonna have to do that. But literally for as long as I have been collecting American Girls, I have always been obsessed with the kitchens and I've never gotten one because there was just like no space for it and also they're so expensive and now as an adult collector I'm like I feel like I'm healing my inner child like I am so happy all right and then this has more stuff in it you have no idea how excited I am about this I am obsessed I know everyone loves the tiny food, but like I just love like the tiny accessories so much. Oh my god. Alright. There's so many little things. I'm so excited. I might just go through all this, like open it up, and then I'll do a video showing everything because I think that'll be easier. So I have all of the pieces out of the packaging and laid out. So now I'm just gonna kind of go through and show you everything that the set comes with. So this is the main part of the kitchen. This piece is made out of wood and plastic. So it's a really solid piece. It's really heavy, really well made. On the back, it takes three AA batteries and there's an on and off switch. I have it on. On the side here, there's three little hooks you can hang stuff from. And then you can also store stuff on the top shelf if you have space for that. Um, so up here, there is a cabinet. This is a little shelf. There's five hooks right here you can hang stuff from. There are four burners. And they all make different noises when you press them. I don't know how to make them stop. They just go until they go. I, yeah, so those make noises depending on what you're cooking. <laughs> I 
This will turn on and make the oven light up. So that's pretty cool. There's a rack in here that can be moved based on like how tall what your cooking is. And this is a little shelf down here. And then the fridge, there's this water button. And then there's also a little ice button. And you can even dispense ice, which there is a little cup, but I was just showing you that. And then, oops, the ice just goes in this compartment back here. <laughs> there's a light inside the fridge and there's shelves and this is a little produce bucket and then more shelves and again you can adjust how tall you want these to be based on like what you're putting in the fridge which is really cool and then this is like a freezer down below so that's the main part of the kitchen then we have this piece which is like a little island this is also made out of like wooden plastic it has a huge like kitchen sink like one of those farm sinks and it has the really cool faucet that comes off and even the little spout turns so you can like pretend your dolls are actually filling it up and you can move this away too there's two really small drawers on the sides of the sink you can store like utensils in underneath the sink there are two cabinets they are connected you can just store a ton of stuff down there there's so much space on the side here, there is a little hook to hang stuff, and same with on this side and on the back. It's more shelving. You could also probably put like a stool here to make it like an island for them to sit at, which is really cute. And this one does not make any noises. This set also came with this rug. Um, it could also probably be used as like a table runner if you wanted it to. Not sure if I'll use this, but that is cute. And it also came with an apron. For your dolls to wear and it velcros around their neck and around their back. Really cute pattern with like flowers on it, an embroidered American Girl. There's a dish towel and an oven mitt that matches the apron. This is a little calendar. You can write in the month and it has the days of the month. I believe this is a whiteboard so you can like write on it with whiteboard marker and it has adhesive strips on the back so you can stick this to the wall if you want. This is a market list. It's like a pad of papers. They're all the same but you can write down what you need to get from the grocery store and you can like rip them off when you're done with them. This is a box of wood-fired pizza and there's nothing in it. It's just an empty box but it's like if your dolls bought a frozen pizza at the supermarket. This is pancake mix. Again it's empty but it has like little nutrition facts on it. It's very realistic looking the way it has all this information super cute. This is a box of bacon. Again, it's empty. Um, I think it's supposed to be like a microwave bacon because it says it's fully cooked. This is a little bag of garden salad and it doesn't open but there's like some stuffing inside to make it seem like it's filled. There are two plates that are the same. They're plastic, white, or like off-white with a blue rim. And they stack into each other. There's two clear cups and they have little um, lips on the bottom. They do not stack because of that. They're really cute. There are two spoons. These are metal and they can stack into each other. There are two metal forks. They can stack into each other. And two metal knives that you could also stack into each other. This is a metal spatula and the tip is painted pink but it is all metal. This is a really cute piece and it has a hole so you can hang it from one of those hooks. This is a plastic whisk and um, I think the these are probably plastic too but it's all plastic. It's super cute and these are flexible like a real whisk. A pizza cutter. The rotary blade is metal but the rest of it is wood and it actually rolls so you can cut your doll's pizza. We have a frying pan. This is made out of plastic. I love the coloring on this. It's super cute. This is a plastic kettle, but the handle is made out of metal and this is also plastic, but these pieces are metal and this actually like moves. 
It does not open up, but I love this piece. It's so cute. This is a pitcher of juice. I think it looks like lemonade. That's what I'm gonna pretend it is. But this is so cute. This is a huge bowl, and I'm not sure what they'll put in here. It could be for like a fruit bowl or maybe like a serving bowl, but I think it's really cute. This is a giant pot and it has two handles on the sides. I'm curious if the dolls can actually hold this, but I really like that it's shiny on the inside. This is a wooden spoon. It's made out of plastic, but it's very cute and it also has a hole to be hung from the hooks. This, I believe, is a serving tray, like a little platter. Um, it's made out of plastic. Super cute. This is one of my favorite pieces. This is the like mixing stand mixer and it actually works. I put in two uh, AAA batteries and then you press this button and it actually spins. This part opens up. This can come off and there's a different paddle attachment that can go in and there is a clear mixing bowl that fits in here. Snap it in and you can like mix stuff inside the bowl. So cute. I love this piece. Here we have a cheese grater. This is made out of plastic and there's different like sized holes on all the ends. Only a few of them are actually holes like these two sides. These ones are too tiny. They're not actually holes. But it's a cute little cheese grater and I really like the texture of this. Here we have a pie and it's in this like pie container and the slices come out so there's a half and then two quarters. I believe this is supposed to be like a lemon meringue pie. That's what I would guess based on the color. But it is super cute. Here we have a butter tray and the plastic lid comes off. The butter is stuck as is but I really like that there's slices and I think it's cute that the lid goes on and off. This is a container of sugar and there is little glitter inside to actually look like sugar. It can move around. It's so cute. The lid does not come off. This is like permanently closed. Very similarly, we have flour. Again, there's like glitter inside to be the flour and it does not open. Here we have a little pepper grinder and it actually turns. Um, there's no pepper in it, obviously, but this is very cute. And here we have a salt shaker. This one does not turn because you're supposed to shake it out, but there is little glitters in here to be the salt. There's a tiny jar of maple syrup. The bottle does not open and the liquid does not move. Yeah, it's all just plastic, <laughs> but this is really cute. These are three little measuring spoons on like a key ring and they all stack into each other. They're three different shades of pink. They don't say how big they are on them, but it's three different sizes. They are so cute. And I'm sure you could probably take this off if you wanted to. Um, actually maybe not, but yeah, I wouldn't want to. They're so cute all together. Then we also have a stack of measuring cups. These ones are not stuck together on a ring, but there's four different cups and they say what they are on them. So this first one is a quarter cup, um, a third cup, a half cup, and one cup. And then they all stack into each other. They are so cute. And I love that they're like different shades of blue. This is probably my favorite food piece. This is the ice pop maker and there's four different colored ice pops. There's green, orange, yellow, and red. And they actually come out and there's little ice pops. And then these pieces also come out. They do come out, yeah, because I had to put them in there. But they are so cute and I love that the popsicles actually come out of the tray and they click in so like everything can be all on there. These are so cute. I'm obsessed. Here we have a little carton of eggs and they actually open and there's six eggs in there. They don't come out but they are so cute. I love that it opens. Here we have a little jug of milk. It's 2% milk. It does not open but it's so cute. We have a bottle of ranch dressing. It does not open. This looks very realistic. Here's a little jar of cinnamon. Just has a sticker that says cinnamon on it and does not open. And a little jar of paprika, the same thing, just plastic with a little paprika sticker and it does not open. Here we have a clump of lemons and this could go in that huge bowl that I had mentioned earlier as like just decoration or fruit bowl. This is a block of cheese. 
It's very detailed, honestly. <laughs> we have an egg. You could put this in the frying pan. Your dolls are making eggs. There are two clumps of bacon. It looks like there's like three pieces in each clump. These are really cute and I love how textured they are. They look really nice. This is a stack of two pancakes with um, a piece of butter on the top. Very cute. And lastly, the pizza. So yeah, I don't really know. This might be the pizza from, yeah, I think it is the pizza from that box. And now I'd love to just like stock the kitchen. So I'll put the rug down, even though you guys can't see that. So clearly I'm still trying to figure everything out, but this is so cute and I'm gonna have so much fun playing with all of this. So yeah, and then let me grab a doll just for size comparison really quick. She's in her pajamas, but like this is her. It's very tall compared to her, so it's a good size. Yeah, she can't even reach the top shelf. She's gonna need some help. <laughs> but this kitchen is so cute. Everything is so adorable. I love how everything is sized and how realistic all the things are. This is such a cute set and this is like my dream come true. I've always wanted an American Girl kitchen and I finally have one. I'm so excited and I'm happy that I got it for a little bit of a sale, like some money off. It was still definitely expensive but it's so cute. I really love it. Thank you guys so much for watching um, and I hope you really like this kitchen. I love it. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. Bye!